give the uh, principal investigator an opportunity to, to summarize why these findings are so significant. Up until about 3.7 billion years ago, water seemed to be very abundant and active. So the, the stripping of the solar wind, uh, the stripping by the, the solar wind of the atmosphere, would have occurred in that same time frame. That's when the uh, extreme ultraviolet photons from the sun, when the solar wind were most intense. Uh, so we think that, that the loss of the atmosphere occurred over a few hundred million years uh, from about 4.2 to maybe 3.7 billion years ago. The, the solar wind stripped it away. The analogy that, that I use is when I step out of the shower into the breeze, uh, uh, the, the water in my hair is just whisked away by the, the wind. Mind you, this is an increasingly theoretical construct. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, asked the media in the room to raise their hand and wait for the mic. I want to recognize another. Mars um, appears to meet all of the conditions required for life or to have met them at the surface in the past. And that begs the question of whether there was ever any life there. And then if there was, whether it's genetically related to terrestrial life or rep would represent an independent origin. So as we go into the future, I think these questions about life and climate and the history of the planet as a whole really are at the center of the exploration. In the history of the solar system, that was an important process.